Hello everyone and welcome back to ProgrammingVideoTutes.com Today is the second part of our Variables and Data Types lesson. In this lesson we're going to look more at variables and the arithmetic we can do with them. So let's open up our beans here, create a new project, go to File New Project, make sure it's on Java, click Next, and we'll name this project variables part 2 click finish alright now we got our main method here okay let's declare some integers I wanted to show you something too you can declare more than one integer on one line you can say int num comma num2 comma num3 whoops I forgot my semicolon here don't forget your semicolon to complete the statement alright now we've just declared three separate integers but they don't we're getting these gray lines underneath them because they don't hold a value yet so we're gonna say num equals 20 num2 equals 60 and we'll leave num3 for now. Num3 actually will go num3 equals num2 divided by num. This is a little, we're going to do a little arithmetic here. Alright, let's print this out system dot out dot print line oh remember to capitalize system because it's a class and to put the T here of course okay we're gonna just print out num3 as you can see we get 3 because num, the value of num is 20, and 20 goes into 60 three times. Now I'm going to show you something else we can do here, which is pretty cool. If you remember, a string can also be like this. We can say the total equals double quotes. And then we're going to use this concatenation symbol, the plus sign. This will concatenate. Put just put these two together, which is pretty cool. So now let's see what this prints out. The total equals three. Pretty neat. All right, we can also do plus. In this, it doesn't concatenate. In this, in this, the plus means the plus. Total equals 80. 60 plus 20 equals 80. And do minus. Total equals 40. 60 minus 20 is 40. Uh, times, which is the star sign. Total equals 1200. 60 times 20 is 1200. Okay, I wanted to show you another way to use strings for concatenation. We can say string text equals the total. Equals. All right, now we can replace this with text. Like if we needed to use this a few times, it'd just be easier just to put text in here. It still says the total equals 1200. Make this a plus. All right, that's pretty cool. That's something we can do with strings. 
Another thing I wanted to show you was... Oh yeah, before I forget here, there's another way we can do this also. We can concatenate... Strings are for concatenation. We can concatenate these two together, and we can just put num3 here. And then, we can just get rid of this. Print it out. The total equals 80. Remember the plus sign with integers and double is for plus? With strings, it's concatenation. You'll get to know that pretty good. It's pretty simple, and you're going to use that kind of stuff a lot, so it's not going to be a problem, so don't even worry about it. Okay, let's change this back to num3. And I wanted to do something here. You can also put numbers in here, too. You can say num2 plus 40, and that works too. You can put just numbers in here instead of making a variable if you don't need a variable for that. But I wanted to show you something here. Alright, now we got num2 divided by 40. Num2 is 60, so this should be 40 goes into 60 one and a half times, right? Let's see what happens. It only says 1, how come? That's because these were integers, if you remember. And integers can not can only hold whole, whole numbers. What do we change this to double? Now let's see what happens. Now it says 1 and a half. So you got to remember to use the right data type. It makes a huge difference. Okay, let's look at a little more stuff we can do here. Uh, let's just add another concatenation. You can put as many as you want on here and it'll work. We can say thanks. Oops. Thanks for coming. Come again. Now let's take a look at it. Oops, we didn't put text in here, so that's not going to do none. It's just printing out num3. So we put text. The total is 1.5. Thanks for coming. Come again. Another thing we could do is we could change this to maybe 32. And we could put a dollar sign on here. See what happens. The total equals one dollar and eighty seven point five cents basically. Thanks for coming, come again. We're gonna learn later how to format these numbers and make them for dollar for dollars and make them how many how big you want them, how much you want to show, and you can round it up so this would say one dollar and eighty eight cents. We're gonna learn that in a later lesson. Pretty soon though, so don't worry about that. There's a lot of cool stuff we can do here. And I think next lesson we're going to get into doing some if statements, which once you start doing if statements, you can actually do some pretty cool stuff with your programs. And we're probably going to do input. So we can type input into our console box here and, and get some output with an if statement. And if is just basically a decision. We say if, we'll say if you type something this in here, do this. If you type this in here, run that code. And we're going to take a look at that probably in the next lesson. And that's when we can start doing some cool stuff. So why don't I'm back for the next lesson? All right. Oh yeah, and don't forget if you like this video, click on an ad for us because we need to feed the babies too. All right.